another video um, that is obviously quite off subject for what I normally do but as those of you who follow me regularly will know just recently I had a problem with my PC, my laptop in that it completely crashed and I lost everything on it um, lost it on the machine but I did have backup of everything but it took a lot of effort to get it back because it was really playing up and luckily we managed to get it sorted however the one thing that did seem to finish up being a bit of a mess was my music on iTunes and now we fixed the music itself I managed to download most of what I needed from the cloud because nearly all of my music is purchased and stored up in the cloud and that that wasn't is stored on a separate disc and I don't tend to have that on my actual computer anyway because there's just not enough space um, but what didn't come back and what I didn't understand when I did the proper I did the proper backups well but for some reason whether that's actually normal or whether it was just something I did wrong but it didn't uh, bring back all my playlists now I've probably got a hundred playlists and you know I've been putting those together over a number of years now they're still all on my iPod touch which is what I've got um, so I figured there must be a way of bringing that across from the iPod to the iTunes because obviously if I synced it without doing that it would automatically the PC is king so therefore it would automatically rule over my iPod and delete all of my playlists which I didn't want to do because that's the only source that I had with those playlists on now um, I got some software uh, previously to do that but for some reason it wasn't working too well so um, that didn't really work so we had a hunt around and we came up with something that's actually using iTunes itself it's a really simple way of bringing the playlist back across into your iTunes it's not something that um, Apple seemed to hugely um, kind of advertise as being available so I thought that it might be quite useful even though it's off topic for me to just do a short video showing how you go ahead um, and actually bring the playlists across from your um, iPod. So one of the first things that I always do um, and I've had set on my iTunes and I would recommend you do this irrespective of anything else that you do is I do set that iTunes does not automatically sync with my iPod, my iPad, my phone, whatever it is, any of my devices, it is set not to automatically sync. I've learned in the past that the problem often happens if you do have any crashes with your PC and then you want to try and use your iPod or whatever as um, a device to transfer the information back to iTunes and there are ways of doing the music as well then if you've got your iTunes set to automatically sync before you've had a chance to even blink it's already deleted all of your um, music etc everything that you're trying to then st store across so let me show you where you do that first of all okay so I've just gone up to the corner here so that we can see our top menu so you do need to make sure that your top menu is viewing and you want to go into edit and then onto preferences comes up saying general preferences and you can see across the top here you've got general play um playback, sharing, store, parental, etc. So there's lots of different things you can do here. Um, so you want to click on devices and then just down there is a tick box that says prevent iPods, iPhones and iPads from syncing automatically. So that's the one you want to make sure is ticked and you can do that um, now even with your device, it used to be you couldn't do it unless your device is connected and you had to do each device individually so but um, now you can do this automatically here which is great and then you just click OK so now getting to actually this playlist um, situation it's very simple so the first thing we want to do is um, make sure that your I don't know if it makes a difference but I always like to uh, if you have a um, a lock on your device a passcode just unlock that 
connect the wire to your iPod and then with the USB and this is the lead that connects to your power cable um, so you can just then connect that into your computer on the USB on your PC like so and you can hear it ping that's the name of my iPod so it's there and you will see down here all of my um, playlists are gone there's nothing there there's one called additions that's just where I imported some of the music um, and I will be deleting that in due course um, so it's nice and simple so all we have to do is open up our device so there's the little arrow here on the side so click on that arrow so it opens up just so you can see inside the device comes up is music if we click on there you can see that's a list of the music that's on there films there are none at the moment tv programs none at the moment books there's quite a few uh, and then underneath all of that is your playlists so then all you do in order to transfer um, the playlists from your device back into itunes it's very simple so you click with your right mouse button onto one of the playlists so whichever one you want to um, import into your into your itunes and it says export because what you're going to do first is you're going to export it from the um, ipod onto your pc and then you'll import that playlist into itunes so it's a two process thing so we then click on export you want to ensure that you're on the desktop so make sure that this part here says desktop and you want to make sure the name of the playlist is in there correctly and also that this list here it says xml files that's really important because there's all different ones there because there's all different ones there so you want it to be on xml and that doesn't always automatically come up so just ensure that it says that and then click on the save button okay so that's done so let me show you what it's done oops that's my and then just up up there on the actual desktop is the playlist okay now just going back into itunes itself you don't need to do that every time it's i just wanted to show you that that's where it goes so then go up here so then go up here to file click on that go down to library and then on library you can see it says import playlist so click on that mine has automatically come up on the desktop but if it doesn't just hunt for desktop on the side here and open up your desktop and then if you search down here you will see the playlist so just then click on that twice double click then just to show you let's just close the device so that you can see see there that the playlist has now been imported and that is the playlist actually on the um, iTunes not on our device because we've closed up the device there it's still connected I've just closed the view of the device shall I say but this is our actual iTunes playlist list and um, you can see that that's imported that in there fine and if I click on it I'm trying to do my head the screen you can see all the music has imported as well or the links rather it's not the actual music and there for example there's obviously one song there that um, is on my um, playlist but I haven't yet imported and there's a whole bunch there that hasn't actually imported into my computer so I can click on those and just import them via the cloud so that's nice and simple to do as well so it doesn't just import everything that's on your PC um, it will import anything that's on the cloud the only thing I found is that if it's something that isn't in the cloud um, like a CD that you've imported then it will miss that out if you haven't got it on the actual iTunes itself in your music so you would need to then actually import that disc um, and then add that by hand later um, to your playlist 
but otherwise it does that all. I hope that uh, this has been useful and um, as I say I know it's a bit off normal kind of videos that we do but I hope you found it handy and I will see you all again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!